About six or seven boys from the club have decided we'll get ourselves a greyhound and um, yeah it's been talk in the spa after training for probably the past year now so it's, it's good that uh, we've decided to finally do something about it but uh, only the two of us are prepared to do the legwork. <laughs> <laughs> we were speaking on the way down we, we like the the black dogs and we said oh if there's one with sort of white paws black with white paws and just so happens that there's one here with the with the white paws so I think he's the front runner at the moment. We've heard the, the deep chest or the, the big paws. Yeah, look, these three, there's not much between these three, just a bit of different colours really, other than that they're all nice pups, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, whichever one tickles your fancy is the way to go. And Cape Hawk, did you have anything to do with him or? No, nah, nothing to do with Cape Hawk, just a very fast dog that I admired for a while and I've used him a couple of times now and throws a beautiful pup as you can see by these ones. And yep. Yeah, I think he's going to make a good stud dog. Cape Hawk, he's doing it in fine style. And Shannon, you're a local here, so you'll be hoping as she gets out in the track at Shepparton, I gather. Yeah, good breeding grounds around these <laughs> these parts, um, uh, first hand. So, yeah, it's good to get back to the grassroots and, uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, we, we can get a get a champion. Seeing as we're the only two that have put in the hard yards to come down here, we thought the naming rights fell on us. And yeah, definitely. What do, what do we think? Well, we don't mind what's burning at the moment. Um, <laughs> that, that, what's burning? Yeah, oh, good. yeah so that's, <laughs> that's the front runner. I reckon, looking at him, I reckon he's probably going to be the heaviest and the biggest by the time he, he will be. later on. I reckon he might be, yeah. yeah. But he's not going to be much between them. Very, very yeah. even, consistent bunch. Yeah. And it's the, the white paws that have convinced you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, and on the back here, look. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> That's the part you want to see go to the line first. That's yeah, that's right. I think, I think we've, we've made our decision. And this is the mother of the, hope for the fast pup over there. She was a good race dog herself and uh, was trained by Jace Thompson down Melbourne. And she got placed in group, group races. She was a good dog herself, but she retired early due to injury. But I think she's going to be a pretty nice brood bitch. We've got a couple of nice, nice pups out of her now. Just starting to get to the track now, they're going to be very good, so. Hopefully that'll keep flowing onto yours. Right, Alright, so I'm just going to scan the dog for you, just so we uh, mark down which dog it is. There you go, so that's your dog there. Every dog's microchip, so Grey and Racing Victoria follows every dog for their whole lifespan, so we know their dogs are getting looked after before racing, after racing, during racing, etc. So that's your dog for good now. Beautiful. Beautiful.